Let's evaluate this definite integral. So we could rewrite this as sine t secant squared t dt, but with either that form or this form, an any derivative isn't apparent. But what we can think about is the derivative of cosine t is sine t. So let's make the substitution that u is equal to cosine t. Therefore, du dt is equal to minus sine t. If we treat du and dt as differentials, then we can write that du is equal to minus sine t dt. Therefore, minus du is equal to sine t dt. So now we can see we can make these substitutions and get rid of all of the t variables. So making the substitution, we get 1 over u squared times minus du. We can also update the limits of integration. When t is equal to 0, u is equal to 1. When t is equal to pi over 6, u is equal to root 3 over 2. So we have the integral that any derivative of 1 over u squared is. So we have, which is equal to, and that's the integral.